everyone, it's Haley Oop, and today I will be telling you guys a little bit about my experience at Chinatown, and um, more importantly, I'll be showing you guys a haul. Um, first of all, um, Chinatown was not what I expected it to be. It was actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Um, and everything about it was really fun. But first, before I tell you guys about it, I will be get, showing you what I got. And I went to, like, at least 15 stores. But I bought things from maybe, like, 5 or 6. So anyways, at one store I bought this Domo eraser. This um, Winnie the Pooh one. And I thought it was Snoopy, but I got a new one because the other one was kind of ruined. Um, someone, like, opened it or something, so I changed it. But apparently there was all different kinds. So I got a Winnie the Pooh one, but it's still really cute. And also this really cute um, cow one. It says, Hello Milk, and it's a cow on a rainbow. And I thought it was really cute, and I collect erasers, so it's a good thing to add. Oh, wait, I'll leave that there. And then, um, I also went to this other place, and they had a lot of Lucky Star paper. Here. And I know a lot of people make these, and I thought it would be really fun to make my own. So, there's a lot there. And I'll show you guys how they end up looking once I make some. And then, I also got this pen that's really, really cute, and I really like it. Um, the ears, like, change the different kinds of pens. And so when you push this one down, there's a pen. And then when you push this one down, it's actually a mechanical pencil. That's actually the reason why I bought it. And so when you do that and you push it down more, that's how the lead comes out. That honestly took me and some of my friends and also the, like, people working there a long time to figure out how to, like, push the lead out. Because, like, when you push this down, it would not move but I guess it just took a while to get like loose and stuff but it's so cute and it says woof woof you can't really tell but I think it's awesome and then we went to a candy store and it was so awesome so I bought this um there was jello in here and I, it didn't really taste that good but I really bought it because I thought this would be awesome to make a mold like make Palmer clay things out of. It's like a perfect mold for jello. I'll sh tell you guys how it turns out to like work, how it works. Hopefully it works well. And then we also um, found like mochi or however you say it. Um, I've heard it was really good so I decided to buy it because we like this package. And we only have one left but this is what it looks like. It's like a really chewy gummy with like sugar inside. It's really good. Um, and that's all I got, but my sister got a bunch of other stuff that are really cool, and her link's down below. She'll also have a haul, and so check that out. But um, this was the first time I've ever been to Chinatown, and it was so fun. Guys, go if you have one in your major city. Um, I know there's like some in LA, San Francisco, New York, Chicago, all those kinds of places. So, if you're ever in the area, go. It's really fun. Um, we also ate at this restaurant, and it's so unique. Like, especially the way they present the food to you. It's just amazing. Um, we got, like, a bunch of different entrees, but, like, small things, so we could try everything. And I really liked it. Um... Really, really fun. I so I also got bubble tea, or like I know people call it boba or something. And it, that was really good too. Um, but as I said again, this was my first time going, and I'm really happy with it. And I want to go again this summer because that's how fun it was. Um, so that's all for today. Um, like I said before, go check my sister's haul out to her username's uh, magic creations for link in the down bar and also if you guys are interested in it join my contest which is um 
ending July 1st, so that's kind of soon. So enter if you want to, and um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you later, guys.